Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So it is Monday, January 15th, and it is really cold out. We did have a frost last night, so the forecast called for 29 degrees. It got down to 22, a lot colder than I thought. So I had a couple issues. Luckily, I did actually cover all my plants, so I did prepare like it was for the major freeze, which is coming tonight. Tonight's gonna be 18, 17 degrees, somewhere around there. At least that's what it's calling for. It could get a lot colder. Luckily, I had covered everything. So I'm gonna bring you guys around and you guys can see how this did, if the covering and you know the, the preparations I took to protect my plants did well. We're just gonna kinda of take a look around the garden here and I haven't really seen it, so um, you're coming with me. So. <laughs> so there's still ice. This is all kinda, of, I would say, almost frozen through, but these leaks are doing okay. I mean, they're frozen, but I hear that they should be fine. They fell over. So we'll see if they made it. I'm not sure. This is all frozen, <laughs> every single one of my onions. So we'll see. Those might not have made it. Really probably should have covered that. The lettuce, I mean, that's hard. That's frozen. Oh, and this is steaming up, guys. I'm sorry. A little better. Yeah, it's so cold that the lens is steaming up. But And it's humid cold. I mean, out here we don't get, you know, it's not... It's not dry cold. When I was in Colorado, it was so much better. Colorado. Yeah, these are frozen solid, so I'm not sure I'm gonna get anything from these lettuce. By the way, if you notice, these are a lot less dense than they were, because I harvested a whole bunch, uh, just in case I lost them. I wanted to make sure I had, you know, a good harvest. Wow, look at all this ice here. There's just ice crystals. I think anything along here is not gonna make it. it seemed like the wind was hitting this direction, and I think it, it kind of rained a little bit, so we got some ice. Ooh, might have lost all this. But I think the root down there, luckily, I'm not gonna move it because it'll just break off. It's really fragile. One thing that just took this in a stride is my blueberry plants. And I actually have little buds on them, if you look. Right there. So I'm gonna get little blueberries, it looks like. Well, that's pretty cool. So I, I know blueberries really like the cold doesn't bother them so you know that's a good thing I'm gonna leave this up I think but see if we can kind of get a quick peek under here I mean I don't know I don't know if they're gonna make it I mean they don't look super frozen all this is frozen so I don't know if any of this that wasn't covered is gonna make it. That lettuce probably won't. It's looking really sad, but might bounce back. That avocado plant, I'm not sure about, because this got opened up, so it kind of blew off a little bit. But it was semi-covered, so look under here. Obviously, this got moved, so oh, that's a hard. So that kind of collapsed on top of the plants. I hope it didn't damage them. And arugula is looking okay. That might be all right. We'll see, I'm gonna wait until it warms up a little bit to remove all this stuff. Same thing here, this got hard. And it does look like it's resting on top of some of these plants, so those might get damaged, but those are the ones I might have removed anyway I was going to, because I have these way too densely planted, so it might be all right. Again, I think this is way too early to know how everything did. So all these plants here, I mean, they're frozen through, just like anything else. And these didn't get covered, so, you know, I don't know how wheat does, but um, it's frozen. You know, there's ice all over the wheat and barley and everything. All right, let's look at the chickens. Uh, this morning I did. I think they're fine. They're looking pretty good, but I haven't checked their water. Problem is I have no way of spraying out their water without removing that cap. And it's too cold. I don't want to remove it, so... Oh yeah, we got ice. So, is the whole thing ice or is there water under there? Oh no. So, you know, if those little cups thaw out, which they might soon, then that will be beneficial. And I might move this out to the sun, but they need water, so. I'll come out with some water from uh, my tap. Looking good though. All of them are here, I think. One, two, seven, eight. They're all doing good. They're alive, so they made it through. I mean, it's only 22 degrees. That's nothing. Tomorrow, then I gotta worry, so. I'm gonna go get some water for them. So I filled up some hot water out of the tap. 
Move, chickens. Let's see if we can warm up that, um, those cups there. Pop this off and just throw some warm water in there. Hopefully that works. Yeah, they needed water. They're all drinking, so. At least they're getting something. That should warm it up. Once that ice at the bottom of those cups thaws a little bit, which it should, those will start filling up again, so. Tomorrow's gonna be the real bad day, though. So what happened last night is kind of nothing. Tomorrow it's gonna be another 10 degrees cooler. At least in the forecast, it might be more than 10 degrees cooler. This could get bad. Uh, we'll see what happens. I might lose all my plants. Um, that's okay. I got a lot of seedlings inside, so I pulled those out. Now, I wasn't aware to, last night, being Sunday night, it was calling for 29 degrees. I thought the seedlings would be fine, but then when it dropped to 22, I noticed this morning I ran out, pulled them out, put them inside. Um, so they were a little frozen, so we'll see if they bounce back. I might have lost the seedlings also because, yeah, I mean, they've handled 29 degrees just fine, and that's what it was calling for, but got much colder so we'll see you guys bring you guys back out here in a couple hours once all this uh kind of thaws many unbearable hours later so the drip line is starting to thaw which means any water that was in it you can see is kind of watering the beds now they're dripping out all the beds are pretty wet it's just all kind of filtering out of it since it's thawing whatever was in there you know it's two o'clock and it's still just 34 degrees. You can see this still got ice on it. Um, everything is icy and not really thawing. So I'm, I'm nervous to take these off right now. I think I'm gonna leave them. All right, let's harvest this turnip. There we go, it's a good looking turnip the next day all right guys well so it is as you can see january 16th today's tuesday last night was monday night and that's when we had the bad freeze it was 18 degrees i was checking and actually hit 16 it was calling for 18 but the tarps came off of this um kind of blew off a little bit uh it was still attached to one of these but i pulled it off and i looked and everything looks great a little bit of damage right on that part of that leaf right there but other than that, all these did just fine. Now, I was worried about this garlic getting smashed and it looks like it kind of did. So we'll see, those leaves aren't quite as high up as they used to be, they were sticking up like that. We'll see if they grow back um, after that, but all this is looking good. And even the lettuce survived the 16 degrees that we had. So covering it, even with a simple cloth like that can really, really help. Um, also, I covered these root veggies and they all look really good. Doesn't seem like there's any damage. Pretty happy about that. Let's see how these, these are doing great. Doesn't look like any damage from that really cold weather. See how the baby carrots did. Sometimes the baby carrots can get some damage, even though adult carrots are totally fine with cold. It looks like they're fine. I will say I got a little bit of damage here, but it might just be due to this moving around and hitting it. So it looks like the center was fine, but the edges got damaged. So I think it has to do with the tarp hitting it, unfortunately. And then this blew off and was banging in here and it looks like all these got damaged, but over there did not. So now anything that was not covered is not looking great. Even this leak, it's a little bit droopier than it used to be. Um, the carrots are droopier. So we'll see if they spring back, I'm not sure. And the turnip looks like the leaves are dead. Somehow my strawberries are not dead. Hmm. That's interesting, the apple tree looks a little bit, a little hurt, but not sure how these uh, trees are gonna do back here either. I'm not gonna uncover them, I'm just gonna leave them covered again. The lettuce looks droopy. That might make a comeback, we'll see. Surprisingly, these daikon routers do not look dead, and I totally thought that they would be. So we'll see in a couple days, but pretty happy about that, guys. Well, I'll bring you guys back tomorrow after 
We have the second freeze. Tonight is supposed to get down to the same temperatures. At least that's what it's calling for. We'll see what it does. And hopefully all this withstood it. I will be covering these two again tonight. So I'm just letting them get some sun right now. It is later in the day. A little bit of sun is good. They need it. The next morning. Today is January 17th, Wednesday. And this is the last day of freeze here. So I'm going to be taking off all the tarps and covers. Looks like everything survived. It's doing well now. A little worried about this. This looks like it did suffer a little bit last night. They're kind of laying down. We'll see if they bounce back. And that is a Texas variety, which is interesting. So since that's a Texas variety, I wonder if it doesn't like the cold as much. I'm not really sure how that works. I thought it just had to do with the, the amount of light. But let's go ahead and remove all these. Now I'm just going to set that there. All right, let's see how this stuff did. Looks like these weathered the storm. Now last night got the, about the same temperature as the night before. It was about 17, 16 degrees, somewhere around there. So that looks damaged right there. Yeah, some of these do, but you know what? They've got some leaves that are not. So it looks like just the older leaves were damaged after multiple days of freeze. The arugula is great, so I'm not worried about that. And the red lettuce looks wonderful. This one, not as much. And I don't think this is gonna bounce back. It doesn't look very good, so we'll see. My turn up here might not have made it. We'll see if the carrots did. I'm not sure. I mean, it is a root veggie, so maybe the roots are just fine. I'm not sure. And same with the carrots. I lost a bunch of baby carrot seedlings. Let's see. Yeah, this whole row is done. Atomic red. Apparently that doesn't... Oh, no, there's a couple over on that side that are okay. I'm going to hook up the drip and start watering. All right, let's see what the temps are calling for right now. Right now it's 30 degrees, so I think I'm going to wait and water in a little bit. Uh-oh. So, the new growth here is starting to wilt. So we'll see. I might have lost my lemon trees. Somehow the avocado is still looking okay. We'll see how they do in the next couple days. Place this on there. I'll go ahead and fold those up later. Yeah, a lot of the brand new seedlings didn't make it. And somehow, I'm not sure why, but this cilantro didn't really do well either. We'll see if it bounces back. A couple of these lettuces look okay in the center. The edges do not. And these carrot seedlings look fine. So, not sure what that's about. Let's see how these are doing. I really don't understand how these made it. I'm happy. They look okay. I mean, some of them look like they're not making it, but others look just fine. The wheat is fine. The wheat and barley looks fine. So we'll see what happens in the next couple days. Might have been damaged and still looking okay. And then maybe die later. Same thing with a lot of the stuff in the garden here. Could die in the next couple days. I'm not really sure, but... Now that the sun is out, it's not going to freeze again. I think tonight is going to get down to 32. So it is going to freeze, but it's not. Well, it gets down to 30 tonight. But I've, I've had that, and it was fine. So, But I've had it down to 30 before. Most everything was fine. I think it's important to let them get sun and everything. Let's move these trees. Yep, we got water coming out of there, so we're good. Everything hooked back up. So I think all the water in here is frozen. It's a black pipe, so and it's on the in the sun right now. So all that should warm up over the next little bit. Looks like it's leaking a little bit from one of those when I tried to put on the the faucet. So we'll let that, all that warm up. 
keep this in my shed for next time. It's supposed to be 50 degrees today, so yeah, that's that's so stiff. It's all frozen in there. Nothing's coming out. Pour hot water over my chickens water thing here. I just fill it up with hot water in my spigot inside from, from my kitchen sink and then it, it kind of dislodges that ice that forms. The next day. So now's the next day. Yesterday was pretty warm. Today is January 18th, so um, just two days after the freeze. It went down to 30 degrees last night, which is not, I mean, it is fr freezing, but we've had those temperatures. These sat out, but I'm starting to notice the avocado tree is going to lose its leaves. This is looking pretty sad. So I don't know if avocado trees naturally lose their leaves or if it's dead. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if you could, if you guys know anything about this. Um, I might have killed them off. Same thing with, I know lemon trees do not lose their leaves, so all of them are looking pretty droopy. Um, I watered them pretty heavily the very next day to make sure that they, it wasn't that they were dry, but they're not looking great. The blueberry plants, loving it. They, they are loving it. And we had some flowers on them even, so I'll probably get some blueberries here in the next you know little bit. Um, but blueberry plants love cold anyway. They live in areas that freeze, so they're naturally used to it. Not the lemons, so I don't know. I might have lost my lemon trees, which is sad. I mean, a couple of the leaves, like on this side, are looking pretty good, but most of them are looking very droopy, so I'm not, I'm, hopefully it bounces back. I don't think it will. I think I lost all three of my major trees, so that stinks, but um, looks like the carrots, Kind of bouncing back. There's a few leaves that got damaged, but they're looking like most of them should make it. The leek is fine. Uh, this turnip, not that great. It's definitely dying back, but it might be alive down in there, the root. So we'll see, I'm gonna leave it. Maybe we'll get some more leaves coming up, fresh ones, and uh, it might make it. This one's doing really good. This is oregano. I am going to be planting some seedlings in this bed here in another couple days. We are going to have another day that it says it's going to be 24 degrees, which I think is a little cold for some of those seedlings. Um, I am probably going to have to come through and cover these beds once again. I am not going to cover that one though, because it didn't seem like it did anything. Well, these are still kicking, guys. I mean, some of them died off. Other ones didn't, but I've got enough of them in here. They might do the tilling for me. And a lot of these look still alive. So again, some of them died off, some of them didn't. We'll see what happens, but I think most of them made it. A lot of them did. So that's good. Um, I might not have lost all this. So hopefully they do the tilling for me and break up this bed. Since we're gonna have another frost, I'm gonna wait to water this one again um, until after that frost, so that way I don't kickstart these seeds that I had sprinkled in here to try to germinate and nothing happens kind of thing. So I'll wait for a couple days and then I'll, I'll water. And the chickens over here, they did great. Um, they withstood all that. I mean, it's really not that cold, so they were fine. As long as you give them a place to kind of stay warm, like in their coop, which they spent a lot even during the day in there because it was cold. Now that's warm, they're out and about doing their thing, eating and pecking and back to their healthy, happy selves so they withstood this whole thing so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that i am sad about those trees over here but that's the end of the video guys thanks for watching if you like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out and i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind